Hello friends. Today we are going to start practical number 10 of computer graphics as program for three dimensional transformations. We have seen uh, what is the basic of transformation and there are basically three techniques, basic techniques of transformations. One translation, then scaling and then rotation. Today we are going to see program related with three dimension as a translation and scaling. We have seen translation and scaling in a two dimensional view, a similar concept which is used for three dimensional. Instead of two dimension here, we are going to use three dimensions. So everyone knows third dimension is Z axis coordinate value. And for this practical, POs are satisfied our basic knowledge, discipline knowledge, experience and practice, engineering tools and communication. So we are going to start the third, uh, that is three dimensions. For basic information, we need to know the matrices and the basic things of uh, dimensions. If you see that figure, there are three dimensions are there, X, Y and Z. So Z value is an additional value and it looks uh, the picture uh, like uh, it that is present in front of you in a three dimensional view. So that idea is again more clear about translation, uh, X axis, Y axis and Z axis. The points or line belongs to uh, that particular area and that looks like uh, actual line. Uh, as it is not on a paper, it is a real image we, we are going to consider when we are going to consider the three dimensional concept. So these were the matrices we have seen in a theoretical. So we moving forward. Next is a scaling. So scaling means what? Changes in a size and shape of an object. Here, that figure looks like a small and that is like double. So scaling factor is I think two. So multiply with two for X value, Y value and Z value. We got that figure as shown in figure that is scaling nothing but changes in the size and shape of an object. And here the changes in a X axis, Y axis and Z axis <laughs> value, isn't it? So moving forward to the program, uh, I think everyone knows the concept uh, rotation, uh, sorry, translation and scaling. Translation means what? Transforming one object from one location to another location. And in a scaling, scale that particular object with their size and shape and represent that. Let's see the practical. So this practical, First, we need to include the header files. We know the basic meanings of that. Afterwards, I will declare some methods and variables which are global. So global means what? I can access these variables and methods throughout the program. Okay, that is outside the main function as well. That's why it is called as global. So ch x y x1 y1 these were the variables and then the method that that is called as method declaration as it is not defined here the declaration is there and written type of that is a int so that translation method will return an integer value again a scale so we have define two functions, uh, sorry, uh, declare two functions for translation and scaling, and it will return some integer value, okay? So these were the functions, and we need to call that function in a main function. So first thing is a main function that is user defined function, and start of your code, that is execution of your program will start from that statement that is main function. Then initialization of a program into the graphics mode. So uh, that statement we have already seen in every program. So I will moving forward. 
next is a enter a point x so point x is entered and that is scanned in a x okay again point y is entered and that is scanned in a y uh, again x1 is scanned and stored in a x1 variable here i have declared similarly y1 so four points are scan of using scan of statement scan using scan of statement so after getting four points we need to for that we we can draw a particular shape or line then do do means what everyone knows the syntax is related to while so do translation or scaling as that program is for translation and scaling in a 3d so first operation is a translation that's why i'm asking uh, writing that first as a translation and second is a scaling slash n is for next line okay uh, that will see a scene after the program so enter your choice i am asking to enter a choice and that is into the ch variable and so if i enter 2 what happens i will go into the second number case if i enter 2 into the ch i will go directly to the that particular case and if i enter 1 i will go to the case number 1 so that is uh, we know if i enter 3 what happens if i enter 3 i will go directly to the third number step that is exit so i can uh, out from that my program so that is where the uh, switch case so main thing is what a coding of translation and coding of scale so i need to write that functions outside the main function and the main function cha mi bahar kay karnar hai i will write that coding here i am going to write the function definition translation as it is declared above the main program it is called that for, it is it is called as a calling of a translation function after call uh, receives it will go to that particular definition of that translation so let's see the definition of translation first i will declare some variables that are required for that function as a t that is translation factor we can say so enter point t so t will be stored into the t okay i'm person t t madhe kahi tari value open i will get some value into the t so next is a bar 3d bar 3d because we are generating some bar like shape for a 3d because bar like shape will be seen as a 3d that's why i'm uh, writing that bar 3d and bar 3d is again one of the function so function translation calls another function remember function translation calls another function that is bar 3d so because bar looks like a 3d i will define that function as a bar 3d so for that function i have required some uh, values or parameters that is four uh, six parameters are there first is x y then second point is x1 y1 and those points are taken i have in a main function so 5 and 1 be the values which are need to operate on that particular thing so x1 y1 is a one point x y is a another point and 5 1 is another point so three points are generated for bar 3d let's see how that bar 3d function executes so bar 3d is again function that is executing let's see how bar 3d is executing so bar 3d i have written so bar 3d is inbuilt function if you search that particular function uh, that is inbuilt function and that will uh, draw a shape like a bars i have told you 
So after drawing that bar 3D, next I need to add translation factor. And I have taken that translation factor into the T variable. So I will add that translation factor into every X, Y, and X1 and Y1. So I have added distance T as a translation factor. So I will got a new points as a X1, Y1, X1, Y1, okay? So after getting new points, that looks like that. So that is the function called like the translation. If I get the value two in a switch case, what happens? The control goes to the case number two and it will transfer the control to that particular definition scale. So scale definition I have written here. If you see that is a scale definition and here I need scaling factor as a S. So enter scaling factor is the enter point to me, enter scaling factor we can say, and that will be stored into the S, okay? So again, I am going to use bar 3D inbuilt function. So passing the values that I have, I have taken in our main function. So X1, sorry, X, Y, X1, Y1, Phi1. Okay, again, I need to operate on these values with the scaling factor S. Uh, we have seen in a scaling function what is need to do a multiplication. So multiplication indicates the size and shape of an object will change. So that's why I'm taking that is scaling factor. So X multiplied by S, so that will change some value and that is stored in a X1. Again, Y multiplied by S, changes some values and stored into the Y1. And after that, that bar 3D, that is inbuilt function. So bar 3D, again, I will call with adding that factors. So bar 3D, X, Y, X1, Y1, Phi U1. So after that, it will print some another shapes. So let's see how that pro after executing execution of that program, we will clear some idea. So enter point X. So if I, if I enter X point as a 23, Y point as a 56, X1 as a 78, Y1 as a 98, I want a translation concept, so I will enter enter your choice as a one. So it asks enter point T. Enter point T means what? It is a translation factor. If I add two, so that shape is changes with some part. Listen, first that particular field bar and another is non-field bar. So after rotation, that non-field part will generate it. Again, enter your choice two, that is scaling. For scaling, it is asked for a scaling factor S. If that scaling factor is again two, so this particular object is smaller or larger. It is taking some another shape. That's why scaling means what? Changing the size and shape of an object. If you see that figure, you realize that the shape of an object has changed. If I want to exit from that program, I will enter simply three and enter. So that is the program for 3D scaling and rotation. For scaling and rotation, we, ha we are going we are going to use the concept bar 3D and is important bar 3D is an inbuilt function and that inbuilt function will draw a shape like a bar in a 3D. So we have got inbuilt function. So that is used and for that inbuilt function, we need parameter and these parameters are added with translation factor as a T and with scaling factor as a yes. So S is a scaling factor. So after calling this function, we'll got the particular shape with 
translation and scale students this this program is again important as the concept of translation scaling and rotation it is most important thing i think uh, all of you got that concept thank you